When you start adding more accessories onto your camera rig, a lot of those come with their own cables, whether it's video, whether it's audio or power, those cables just start to accumulate and they can start to get a little bit messy. When you think of cable management, you might think of networking cables or PC builds or battle stations, but it's also important to manage cables when it comes to camera rigs. Having the cables on your camera neatly organized keeps them out of the way of your lens, keeps them out of the way of your monitor, and if you need to add or remove parts of your rig in the field, it just makes that process a lot simpler simpler when you're not sorting through a mess. These are a couple of things that I use to manage the cables on my cinema camera rig. So I started with this little screw in piece from my A7S camera cage. And while it's a nice start and it started to help me route cables around the right way, I didn't like that. It was a little bit skinny and so my HDMI cables didn't fit perfectly right. And then the screwing in and screwing out motion just took a lot of time and also found that I was removing the actual piece instead of just removing the cap. I also like using these flexible gear ties to wrap up loose ends and help me take control of some of the cables on my rig. Particularly, I keep one of these on my extension arm to tie off the grip extension cable. I did used to use these exclusively for the rest of the cables on my rig, but they weren't quite tight enough and I kept losing them when I was changing around my rig in the back of a rental car and they just disappeared into my backpack. Recently, I've been trying out these fun little sprig cable management clips. They plug into the quarter 20 holes that are on the monitor extension arm that are on my camera cage and I've got a couple of these around to clip my cables into and so far I've really liked how clean and neat they make everything. They're really easy to move around if I want to change configuration and they don't randomly fall off the rig. Now they're a little pricey right but when it comes to film equipment we're all probably used to at this point spending a little bit more to find the right over-engineered solution for our problem. Of course it's also an important part of cable management to pick the right cables for the job. I've been through a bunch of HDMI cables and finally settled on the right mix of a right angle connector and a straight connector. I have a BNC cable that's similar that I really really like and the cable that adapts the D tap out from my camera battery to the Sony dummy battery that goes onto any of the monitors that I'm using. I also had that shortened so it's a custom length so that I don't have way too much slack just hanging off the back of the camera. And the final piece of the puzzle, which I don't have yet, very soon I'm gonna have a custom length grip extension cable so that while I like this coiled cable, it's super sturdy. I really don't like how much slack is left over. So I'm gonna have a custom cable made for my grip extension. So that's what I use to manage cables. It's great to have a super minimal camera rig that's super stripped down, but sometimes you just need to add on a whole bunch of extra stuff and managing the cables, getting those out of the way really just makes it easier for you to operate because the tool is not in the way of you capturing exactly what you need to capture. All right, Drew, do your magic.